Yeah, that works. Welcome back to my video. Today we are going to have a baby. And by that I mean we are going to try to press that button as many times as it takes until my Sims can have a baby because I'm ready to start this mint gen. I think in the last episode we were just working on their aspirations. He and her are both super close to finishing those. They're really far ahead in their career, so we're just gonna do what it takes to finish their aspirations. If they move ahead in their career, then I'm happy, and if they don't, I'm still happy because they're still really high up there. I actually updated the house already so that they are prepped for two little ones. I'd like to have the mint gen first, and then after they're a little bit older, then we'll still have a second child so that they can have a sibling, but I at least wanna start working on the mint generation so that we can actually start on the not so berry challenge. Yeah, I guess let's just get started and we'll see where this video takes us. So let's just start right away with trying to go have a baby. We know what we wanna do in this episode, so let's just cut to it. We are going to go try for that baby. And while they do that, I'm gonna show you the house that I built so far. So you can see that I added a new car because they'll probably both have a vehicle. I made it a two story. The backyard I didn't really add much to, just some school projects so that when they're a little older, they can play with those. I'm not sure if I had that bar there before, but if I didn't, then I added that. I moved their bedroom up here and it looks pretty much the same as it did downstairs, but. I added this little entry nook where there's a mirror and a little entry table. And I put all of their photos up here already too. And here's the upstairs bathroom now. I added the mint decorations because this will primarily be the mint generations bathroom when she's a little bit older, but they all gotta use the bathroom. And this is gonna be the second baby's room, but they already have it because they already know that they're going to want their child to have a sibling. This is the loft. So it's like where they can have a little retreat to do their homework or read or on the other side watch TV or play video games together. In this hall, I'm probably gonna put some family photos when I have the kids. This is the Mint Jen's bedroom. I absolutely love how this turned out. I had so much CC to get all of these plants in there. We have a little experiment play set out here Probably since they're both so busy in their careers, they get her everything that she wants. And since it has been a little harder to have a baby, we're gonna spoil her a little bit. That's why she has so many toys and why she grows up to be a little bit materialistic. She did go out and get a fertility treatment since the last one. And so hopefully this one's going to stick, but if not, we'll just keep trying. Oh, Liberty's here. Is Liberty pregnant? Like super pregnant? We're over here trying to have a baby and you're over here just super pregnant and you didn't even tell us? He's like, oh, my wife's friend is here. Let's just bring her inside and not talk to her. And Tatum's not pregnant, so. That's fine, I didn't expect her to be. Maybe tomorrow. Let's just talk to Liberty. He's gonna eat his salad, no worries in the world. And she's just over here talking to Liberty like, when the heck did you get that pregnant? It's nice that she has a friend. Oh. oh, she's yelling at her. Oh, Liberty. I've never seen you act this way. We'll do a smooth apology. Ask to feel the baby because she is our best friend. Oh, she hates us. Right now. Sorry, Liberty. Okay, maybe she's like, I didn't know you were this pregnant and you're our best friend. And I just thought you would tell me, especially when you know how hard I've been trying to get pregnant too. This is such exciting news and you just didn't tell me. But I am super happy for you. And she wants to feel the baby. And she wants to be close to her friend, even though their friendship isn't even high. Well, we'll get there. Well, we're already very inspired. So let's try to get that last masterpiece. Okay, Liberty's gonna come over and talk to us. They just had a little friendly feud. Best friends fight. It's okay. We're gonna discuss her interests. Obviously, you are into pink. Maybe you are excited about having a child. I know I would be. I like llamas. Okay, good. And they're closer from happy memories. Not the one that was happening earlier, I'm sure. Oh, and they just lost friendship again. 
They're probably like those friends that are so close that they just say kind of shady things to each other sometimes, but they know it's out of love, but sometimes words can still hurt feelings. So, okay. Maybe if we take a photo together, then our friendship will go up. Cause I do want them to be best friends considering she has no other friends, period. They actually look like such a cute duo. I love this photo. Then we're just going to work on our painting and really try to finish up this aspiration. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be a masterpiece. She's very inspired. I've never seen her make a painting like this before. That's really cool. Oh, and she's thinking about her bestie. Oh, and her best friend's thinking about toddlers. She's like, oh, can I feel the baby? And they just became good friends too. I feel like this is gonna be a masterpiece. This looks beautiful. Oh, Liberty has to go. Bye Liberty. Thanks for chatting with us about parenthood. That looks gorgeous. Good job. Is that not a masterpiece? Excellent. We're just gonna sell that. How is that not a masterpiece? That looked so good. Oh, she's out here talking about the baby still and feeling the baby again. She just can't stop thinking about babies. Oh, they're gonna start their family this episode for sure. Whatever it takes, they're just gonna keep trying. Yeah, let's have her go to the nursery and she's just gonna read some books about parenthood, maybe grab some children's books. Oh, she already owns a couple. Yeah, she'll get that parenting trait started at least and have some time in the baby's room. Just spending time in the nursery will just get her that extra boost to wanna to put a baby in there. Although I don't think that it is due to lack of interest in putting a baby in there. I think that she's just having a hard time getting pregnant. She's pretty tired though. Mm, we can still try for a baby. And the fertility treatment is supposed to work best when they're ovulating. He's gonna come talk to her, tell her some funny stories, cheer her up, brighten her day, and then they'll go try for a baby and share his personal life goals. He's like, I really wanna be a dad too. This is hard on both of us. And they'll give a little hug. Oh. You guys are gonna do it, don't worry. They still love each other very much and they're very flirty around each other. Oh, and she's ovulating. Okay, so they're gonna try for a baby when she's ovulating, so that'll be really good. Good luck, make a baby, and then they'll go to sleep. My camera is charging, but it's still saying that the battery's about to die. Well, hopefully it doesn't. We're just gonna let her go to sleep. When she wakes up, we'll check to see if they made a baby, which hopefully they did because she was ovulating this time and she's thinking about baby toys. I feel like that's a good sign, but she'd probably be thinking about baby toys and baby everything anyway. And now she's thinking about someone wetting their pants. Liberty, go home. Didn't she say she was leaving a while ago? They know we're besties, but boundaries. Oh, I think that's an element there. We'll grab that later. Okay, let's get started for the day and then he'll just work on his video gaming and she'll start her day with a nice bath. Maybe have a calming morning before she takes her pregnancy test, brush her teeth to get her confidence up, and then she'll take the test. So it's time to get up, guys. Okay, and she's still ovulating, so... She's gonna take her nice warm bath. <sighs> the day might be the day. They're still so happy about just getting married recently, which they should be, but I just think it's cute. I love how this house turned out. I feel like it's so warm and homey. Did he just take one bite of that salad? Is he full? All right, buddy, why don't you have another cup of salad and then you can work on your video day. This boy. Okay, and she's brushing her teeth, getting her confidence up. She's gonna find out if she's pregnant. Try again. It's okay. They're just gonna try again. She's gonna come talk to him. She's like, I know your plans were to work on getting your promotion today, but I feel like we can't waste this day. She's ovulating. She has the fertility treatment. For some reason it didn't work. He's frustrated. They're yelling at each other, but they are already making up and happy. So he's complimenting her brushed teeth. She did that for a reason. Now they're gonna go try for a baby. Oh, Liberty's calling. Yes. Travis Scott asked me out, go for it. Sorry, Liberty, I'm a little busy. You just, we're, we're working on something. Okay, she can come. She can take this test, get some reassurance, calm down a little bit. Okay, he can go play his video games. <sighs> Not pregnant. Should we get another fertility treatment? I feel like that one didn't even work. We'll take a fertility awareness test. Okay, here it is. Tatum's fertility awareness test resulted in 43% chance of becoming pregnant. 43%. I feel like it could be worse. Let's just... 
I feel like I'm just taking over their entire day. No time to work out. Oh, not pregnant, try for a baby. He likes mischief. Now it's not the time, but you do like mischief, so I'm glad you recognize it. The mint gen likes mischief too, so that's perfect. Take a pregnancy test, and then you can go work out later. You got this, just breathe, not pregnant. No, we'll do a fertility treatment because I feel like that just didn't work. It's supposed to be when they're ovulating, so we'll go do the fertility treatment, come back home, try again, because she's still fertility. She's still ovulating. She's still fertility. So my video just, or my camera just died on me while I was recording. So hopefully it lines up at the same place that we left off, but it will probably die again before we finish this episode. So we will just have to work with it. Still playful, still happy. He's being a goofball. He is just always wandering around shirtless and in his PJs. Accurate. He's going to clean up after himself and then go work on his video games. He just needs one more level. And he still needs to mentor for two hours to finish his aspirations. So we'll have him mentor her on the piano. Okay, she received her temporary fertility treatment. Her chances of becoming pregnant will now be higher during the next ovulation. Yeah, she's still ovulating. So we are going to talk to him. Sorry for distracting you from your video games again, but we need to try for a baby. And he's like, sure. Oh, I love her in that outfit. She's still feeling great. As long as they're happy, then we'll keep trying. I just don't want them to be like sad or mad with each other. In that case, I don't want to force them to keep trying. Did he just, oh, be scared by Nicholas? And she thinks it's funny, so I guess that's fine. Oh, she just wanted to give him a kiss now. She's like, hope for the best. Just see, oh, she failed to conceive and she's sad. I think we're gonna try one more time and then I'm gonna give them a little break. They did this all day and she's starting to get really sad about not being pregnant. So we're just gonna try once more and then, and then we'll just give it a break for a little. Probably talk about our other options because they are halfway through their adulthood and they're gonna wanna have the mint generation soon. All right, now she wants to go take a nap, but we need to take a pregnancy test. Come on, where is she? Oh, she wanted to take a nap in the nursery. Well, maybe right now is the moment. Let's just go practice the piano then. He's gonna mentor us. We're gonna make the most of the day, finish his aspiration. He'll mentor her on the piano for two hours and it'll be a good day. He's embarrassed by her playing. Okay, she reached level three and he's mentored her for an hour. Okay, just a little bit longer. She's so tired. Aspiration completed. He earned the Piper trait and he finished his aspiration. So now he can work on becoming a super parent. We'll probably give him that aspiration a little bit later. Let's just let her get some sleep. Maybe try for a baby real quick before they go to bed but she's not gonna take a test tonight. They're just gonna try for a baby. Maybe we'll check tomorrow. Whatever happens, happens. And no matter what, they're gonna get their little mint gen baby and it'll be exactly how it was meant to be. Okay, we are going to try to get as much recorded right now as we possibly can because this is getting a little bit tedious with my camera dying over and over and over. Okay, cool. They just finished trying for a baby. They're gonna go to sleep. I want her to go to sleep too. I don't want her to take the test right now. She just doesn't need any more bad news today. A good night's sleep and we'll check tomorrow. He is stinky and she's starving. What happened last night? Okay, he's gonna take a shower. Still ovulating. I feel like my game might be glitched because I feel like they're only supposed to ovulate for like one day. And I feel like she's been ovulating for like three. Someone needs to finally clean the sink. So she's gonna do it. And then she's gonna take her pregnancy test and she's no longer sad about it. So maybe she had a good night's sleep, cleared her head, but soon enough they'll have their sweet little family and everything will be great. Ugh, someone needs to repair that. That's fine, it's still gonna be a great day. Okay, that looks squeaky clean, good job. Oh, she still needs to finish her aspiration. We'll work on that too. Your best friend's calling. Remember when we talked about Travis Scott, we went on a nice date. That makes me happy. Not pregnant. And the toilet's broken. And she starts working about an hour. Today's a good day. Oh my. Sometimes you have mornings like this. He gained a skill and she's anxious. We're gonna get you exactly what you're looking for. 
now she's just gonna go straight to work. Have a good day at work. It's gonna get better. And he's working on getting his video gaming skill up. He's like, well, I have the time. I finished my aspiration. I'm gonna get a promotion at work and then I could just work on being a super parent. So maybe it wasn't the right time and soon it will be. They're probably going to really discuss the probability of not being able to conceive. So they're going to probably adopt the mint generation after they become probably a toddler because I do want them to have siblings when they're younger. We'll probably adopt again so we can have the second baby. Yeah, we're gonna have to get them a baby ASAP. And he's still thinking about toddlers. Both of them just constantly think about kids. Bills have just been delivered. Today is a day. You know, this actually works because I've been trying to figure out a way that it makes sense that their last name is Lopez. She was a Brown and then they were a Lopez. Their baby's gonna be a Barry because it's the not so berry challenge. She has to have the last name Barry. And maybe they'll just be so happy that somebody finally gave them what they've been dreaming of, which is just a child, really start their family, start their lives as parents and just be that little missing piece. And they'll be so grateful and have such a good connection with the baby's birth mother that they will keep her last name as just something that they just really really cherish. That's kind of all I can think of too for why their baby wouldn't have the same last name as them. So that'll be that. And today he'll work on getting his promotion and then probably practicing some parenting skills. Okay my camera is really struggling to stay charged and I am just kind of over it so we are going to finish up this episode with just a voiceover and that'll be fine. Video games complete. So while we have time, we'll eat our food and then we're gonna come up to the baby's nursery and read about parenting. Then maybe we'll take a little nap before work. Yeah, in three hours. He is just always unbothered and I love it. He should probably get a promotion today or tomorrow and his aspirations complete. And I feel like I have to keep reminding myself that because they're doing well and that's good. <laughs> um, he put the book back and went to the couch. So we're just gonna come in here and read in the other baby's room. And he actually doesn't even need a nap before work, so. Look at him in here. And he reached parenting level one too. All they need is that little baby to come in the picture. And she's home. Before you go to work, you wanna go try for a baby real quick. And she's a level eight too. She's not doing so well at work though. But I mean, she's a level eight. Oh, they just apologize. I don't know what just happened. Oops, sorry. I'm a little moody, but let's try for a baby. Yeah, they got their love up real quickly. They got more friendship. Oh, butterfly. You're gonna have to be a little late. Up and Adam, time to go to work. I feel like she should work on her aspiration while he's gone. Then we're gonna have to cook. And we don't need to be eating garden salads anymore, but we will be eating vegetarian. Hence why our baby is gonna be vegetarian. Oh, take pregnancy test. We know the drill. <laughs> She's still feeling flirty. She's a very flirty Sim and he's a very playful Sim. So together they're just so adorable. Okay, we're gonna have to clean that. Ooh, that looks good. No pressure. Whatever is meant to be, will be. I feel like I've said that so many times this episode. And she's not. And she's very sad and oversensitive. It seems like no one seems to understand or care about what she's going through. Oh and she's passionless about her job now. And she's just still so sad about not being able to have this baby. I feel so sad for our girl. She's thinking about herself, probably feeling a little sorry for herself. And I feel sorry for her too. And I feel like she is starting to get a little passionless about her job because she's not even at average anymore. She's starting to slide down. And so we're gonna have her take care of practicing programming first. Maybe focus on that promotion a little bit more so her mind isn't so much on the baby stuff. I keep saying that they're gonna discuss adoption and then, but I feel like they just haven't, aside from that day that they both had off together, I feel like they haven't really had that like quality time to really talk about things. And when they do have that, then that's, that's when I'll have them 
have that discussion. And I don't want it to be like when she's super sad either. I think that if we have you do something good for your job, have something that you want to do with your whims, and then have something that will help her achieve her aspiration, it'll be good. And right now she's feeling flirty. And so we're going to do a flirty painting because she has a lot of emotions. And when she had a lot of emotions after getting married, we did a flirty painting and she made a masterpiece. She's taking care of this whim. <laughs> she loves it. She seems a little happier right now. Let's work on our aspiration. I want her to have something that she could be really happy about. This definitely seems like a very emotional painting with all the colors. If this isn't a masterpiece, I'll be shocked. This already is looking so good and she's so creative and we love our girl. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I had her do the flirty painting. I feel like she makes the best flirty paintings. Except for that weird llama one. Oh, and he is back home. That looks great. It's excellent. Okay, sell that for her. I just wanted to give her one thing to be excited about. Okay, she is already in bed. Our poor girl. He's just gonna go to sleep. They don't need Chai for a baby tonight. Okay, he's finally coming up to lay down with her. I feel like something's really glitched because it's Tuesday and she's still ovulating and that just doesn't make sense. That was kind of weird. I just clicked, yeah, it says throw up. Let's just click on that. Did she eat something bad? It usually only does that if she's pregnant, but can he ask her? I feel like if she was, we'd be able to tell him the big news and we can't. So I'm not really sure why she wants to throw up, but that's just shower inspiration. This is weird. We'll just be sweet. The main thing that they agree on is that they want to start a family and they're going to adopt a baby today. They're going to love the baby so much because this is just all they've dreamed of and they're gonna spoil her. In all the generations, I kind of want them to be the name of a flower. I don't really know why, but I feel like if I could have them all be the name of a flower and it goes with the generation, then that would be kind of cute so that they all have a running theme. Yeah, so she just went off to work. She's gonna work hard. He needs to play his video games. And then he'll come read his parenting book again. I feel like there's so many photos of the two of them around the house. It's gonna be so cute to have the photos of their little ones too in there. He wants to listen to music, of course. What you listening to? World music, and he is so into it. He can't even pay attention to his book. Well, is your parenting skill going up? As long as you can listen to it and work on your parenting, then that's fine with me. Parenting skill is built by caring for children, talking to other parents, and researching on the computer. Maybe we should get a computer up here. He likes world music. Yeah. Let's add a desk in here. How can I make this work? I feel like... All right, let's get rid of the couch. Oh my gosh, perfect. Ooh, a little green keyboard and maybe a green chair. All right, is there anything else we can give to her for her science-y stuff? That works for me. And the telescope will stay there. Okay, cute. Then he can actually work on his research of parenting in the nursery still. And he already completed all of his work stuff. Of course he did. He's just on top of it. He's already at almost 30% in parenting and they don't even have the baby yet. And he's still doing great. Oh, maybe we should change this now to super parent. Become an adult and spend $1,000 on kid stuff. Become a parent, achieve level four, discipline your toddler. Oh, we already did the first thing. So now we just have to become a parent, achieve level four and discipline toddler, which obviously none of things we can do until we have the baby. Oh, she's off in like 30 minutes and she still hasn't finished her aspiration. She'll ask about his day when she gets home, probably brighten his day. Oh, she's home from work now. So she's gonna come talk to him. She'll be like, oh, what'd you do all day? And he'll just tell her all about the things he learned when he was learning about parenting all the things he learned about adoption, all the research he did. Oh, she's giving him a kiss. She's like, I'm so proud of you for doing all of that for us. I can't believe we're gonna have a baby. And he's like, yep, we get to go meet the birth parents and we will have our baby by the end of the day. And she's yelling at him, but she's like, sorry, I'm just very nervous. And he just tricked her with a hand buzzer. He's gonna apologize and she's walking away. Um, They are chaotic. And now he just wants to dance. <laughs> Liberty's here. We'll invite her in. Brighten her day. 
how's the baby? And then we're gonna go talk to him and be like, listen, I know we just had it out at each other and then you electrocuted me with a hand buzzer, but everything's good and I'm proud of you for getting everything you needed to get done and I can't believe we get to meet our baby today. She's thinking about babies. She's like, I just can't believe it. So now they're gonna have that discussion about what it's gonna take to become parents, everything that they did to get to this point, really get excited about the fact that they are bringing home a baby today. She's gonna boast about her family. Be like, this is all I ever wanted. I'm so excited. And he's gonna talk about his dreams. He's gonna be like, this is all I ever wanted too. I can't believe it's happening. And describe his new idea. He's like, with all the reading I was learning about, maybe we can name her after a flower. Okay, let's go bring home our baby. And she's gonna come in here because this is a very important moment in their lives. <gasps> well, Jasmine already has a name that's like a flower. I might change that to another flower name. I can't believe he's gonna go get their baby and bring her home. He is officially going to get the mint gen and I just realized that their truck is minty color. It was just always destined to be that way. Maybe that's his truck and when they were decorating the room, he's like, I'm just gonna decorate it my favorite color and that's why everything is just mint. So she's gonna talk to Liberty, boast about her family. She's like, my baby girl is coming home today. She's thinking about Tudor too. She's like, I remember the first time I was like a mama and my little Tudor. Liberty shows signs of the sage personality. Oh, she's probably giving her so much good advice on parenting and what to expect when the baby comes home. Okay, and she's gonna go up here and start reading about parenting. She's like, I have to get all the knowledge I can before my baby girl gets here. <gasps> Nicholas is bringing home the new family member. She feels so powerful. Okay, I'm probably gonna change her name. Her last name's gonna be Barry. And her first name, I think it's gonna be a different flower still, but the baby's here. We're gonna talk to her, rock her, bottle feed her, bounce her. Oh my goodness, you don't need to read the parenting book anymore. You're an actual parent now. And he wants to do everything too. She can't even get to the baby because he's already running up the stairs to take care of her. They're so happy to be around each other. They're like, I am in love with my life. Oh, she's starving, but she wants to see her baby and she needs to feed her. Baby's first bottle feed. I want them to boast about their family again. She's like, thank you so much for this beautiful family. We'll change her diaper and then we're gonna feed her. Oh, she's already momming. And then he's going to take care of some of his needs. Liberty's just hanging out. Maybe he should, okay, never mind. she's leaving. I was gonna say maybe he should finally introduce himself since that's his wife's best friend and she just hangs out at their house apparently in the middle of the night sometimes. She is so in love with life right now. So maybe this is the emotional painting that she needed. Let's get her some food and then she's really tired but now that she's a new mom and she has a lot of emotions to play off of, so she's going to work on a flirty painting. And every time she has these like milestones in her life, then she has made a good painting. I thought that was gonna happen when she was really sad, but it didn't. And so maybe she just needs, she, she doesn't really work like that. She needs that good triumph in her life to make a great painting because she made excellent ones but she didn't make a masterpiece. And this one needs to be a masterpiece. She's like, good job today, hubby. They're not even talking and they just came to love. Baby's awake, so we're gonna come talk to her. He's like, hello, I missed you with those two seconds I was downstairs. And let's take some photos of her too. We need it for our family wall. First photo of our little baby girl. Oh, he was thinking about butterflies when he was telling Tatum about his new idea downstairs when they were just discussing the fact that they were bringing home a baby today. And he had the little butterfly imagination bubble above his head and her shirt has a butterfly on it. And how are you doing down here? What'd you paint? Oh, that is so cute. Aspiration completed. She got to level 10 in painting and this is her last masterpiece. 
where's our window? Well, we're gonna apparently replace our kitchen window. Then I never really cared for that one. So we're gonna put up this painting, her final masterpiece. And now she can also start working on becoming a super parent. This is so, this is the best day. They have had a tricky couple of weeks and months to get to this point. Let's get rid of the toddler bed in here because eventually when they do have another baby, well, we'll start out as a baby. So we'll put the bassinet in there for when they do decide to have another child. I can't believe that they both completed their aspirations. They're so high in their career and they finally have the baby that they've been dreaming of. This is the first time that they'll be walking around their house and going to sleep knowing that their baby girl is just in her room peacefully sleeping. Let's switch her to super parent now. Okay, they are going to go to sleep. Oh, this is broken. After he gets some breakfast, he's gonna work on his video games. Um, she needs some food too. Oh, baby comes first, change the diaper. We'll need to bottle feed her, bounce her. Oh, make a silly face for her and rock her. I can't believe she's finally a mom and she's actually doing the thing. <gasps> oh my gosh. Is she pregnant? That is for sure a baby belly we got going on here. Oh my gosh. He's gonna take a photo of her holding their baby girl and then he's gonna take a photo of her little prager belly. When did this happen? It never said eating for two. It never, it, how many times did we see that notification saying that she's not pregnant? Can he ask her about the baby? Okay, no, but he could share his personal life goals. He could be like, I did not expect this at all, but this is exactly what I wanted was to become a super parent. Okay, he gets some time to talk to the baby girl and she, what is going on with you? You had a little secret going on here. Yeah, Tatum is not able to do this while she's pregnant. Well, we didn't know. And she's gonna come here and take some photos of him. Look at her. They're gonna have two toddlers, so that's gonna be a handful, but they're gonna have fun with it since they wanna be super parents. Uh, let's go right here, and we'll try to take a photo here. Perfect for the wall. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I can't believe we're gonna have two babies. I don't even know if she's gonna age up by the time we have this. How pregnant is she? Okay, eating for two, but she never even got to take a pregnancy test that said that it was positive. I mean, I don't care. This is a miracle either way. Okay, let's put out some of our photos now that we are a bigger family. Okay, and then she has tons of photos of him to put up too. Let's do our family wall now too. Oh, and now we have the photos with Liberty too. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all the duplicates and then I'm gonna organize the wall like we did downstairs and in the bedrooms so that we have our cute little growing family wall. And then I'll probably finish playing out the newborn years so that the next episode can really be focusing on the mint gen toddler and aging her up to become a child and working on her traits so that we can actually officially start the mint generation and start the not so berry challenge. This whole season has just been like a little bit of fun that I wanted to have with a prequel to the not so berry challenge. So I just added frames to all of these. That is our family wall and it's just gonna grow from there. I'm gonna play out until she has the new baby and until they're both toddlers and then the next episode is going to start there with the two toddlers running around and we're gonna start building up their characteristics in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you enjoy my content, then please like and subscribe. In the next video, I'm definitely going to be starting the mint gen. I am going to keep playing until they're toddlers so that we can actually start working on the aspiration and we can't do that until the babies are a little bit older. So once the mint generation is old enough, then I'm not going to do any gameplay without actually recording it and we'll be officially done with the base gen, which I had so much fun playing, but I'm excited to actually get started on the not so berry challenge. I am in love with my life. Oh.